Stand by. The vacuum tubes are warming up. This is a special live broadcast right here on Georgia Radio. Well, you know, this was just too good to turn down. We're talking to Eric Stabnow today. You probably have heard of his band. It's a, well, it's been around a while. I'm talking about the Glenn Miller Orchestra. Eric, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me. My pleasure to be here. If you haven't heard of Glenn Miller before, uh, and I, well, I don't even know where to start with that, but uh, how did you fall into this? Uh, uh, I grew up playing music and primarily on the saxophone. So I played throughout grade school and went on to study music in college as well. Uh, so a short time after I graduated, um, I had a friend that was touring in the Glenn Miller Orchestra. And this is the same band that's been around uh, ever since the 1930s and 40s kind of just a continuation of of that band with different musicians. So playing the same music, all those big hits. And uh, anyways, there was an opening for a saxophone player and I auditioned. And a few weeks later, uh, shortly after I graduated, I was on the road with the band. That was almost seven years ago. And uh, I've been loving it ever since. And you're the music director now, which uh, is is a big position. What, what is your responsibility now as the music director? Yeah, as music director, uh, I'm sort of the front man for the group. So during the show, I'll kind of MC the show, host the show, if you will, and uh, introduce the band, give a bit of background information on the songs and on the music, and uh, as well as, you know, introduce the folks on stage and kind of just host the show for the audience. And then behind the scenes, um, there's various other responsibilities, like picking up the set list and working through music and all those sorts of things. All the big hits we've got, uh, I'm trying to think of, I guess, what would a, a saxophone lead be for the Glenn Miller? I'm trying to think here. We're, we're talking Pennsylvania 6, 5,000, stuff yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah, yeah a, lot, yeah, a lot of Glenn's music has melodies in, in the saxophone section, or uh, sometimes there's a clarinet lead in, in that section, or the reed section, as we call them. Uh, but a lot of his, his music has melodies like that, Moonlight Serenade, yep, Pennsylvania 6, 5,000, Tuxedo Junction, a lot of the number one hits. That's great. And of course, uh, the big album that's out right now, the Glenn Miller Orchestra's 80th anniversary of the Army Air Force Band. And uh, that's 15 new tracks, including Sentimental Journey. Uh, great stuff right there. And and uh, did I understand it correct that, that Crystal Gale is actually on this album as well? That, that's absolutely correct. Yep. And you mentioned the song too, Sentimental Journey which is uh, a classic of the 1940s. That's actually the one song that's not an original uh, Glenn Miller song, um, but it just seemed like the perfect fit to uh, to have Crystal join the group on. And uh, a lot of people know that one. Of course, a lot of people know Crystal Gale as well. So uh, that, that's certainly an exciting addition to the album. What's been your biggest surprise playing with this orchestra, this world-class orchestra? Yeah, it's, it's amazing that this, the, the group is still around uh, over 80 years after its formation. Uh, Glenn Miller started his, his famous orchestra in 1938, and people still know this music. You know, the band is uh, on tour right now and on tour throughout most of the year. Um, a typical year for the band could be as many as 200 or more shows. So people still know this music and they want to hear it live, which is, is really something. And have you seen a rebirth in the interest uh, from the younger folks as well? Or how, how's that going? Yeah, I, I think so. You know, obviously uh, some, some of our demographic is the, the older folks and uh, plenty of younger folks too. I think at one point when this band was touring, um, there probably would have been, you know, the generation that grew up with Glenn Miller's music in the 30s and 40s. Nowadays, it's their children, children of the greatest generation. Uh, but we get a lot of younger folks, especially uh, at swing dances. We play swing, uh, plenty of swing dances or sort of 1940s themed events. And I think the younger generation not only likes the music, but they like the sort of uh, vintage culture and, and all that all that as well. And was that something you were in, too, as a child or when you were coming up in music? You know, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't swing dance or, or any of that stuff. Uh, I always liked big band music. Uh, of course, Glenn Miller and all, all the bands of the 30s and 40s and, and beyond as well. So I, I really loved uh, the music specifically, but but didn't necessarily know some of the history like I do now. I think it's great, and it's such a it's it really is a gateway drug into the history of that time <laughs> period in in America. Where where can we see the Glenn Miller Orchestra coming up here? I do, do you have some upcoming tour dates that you know off the top of your head, or am I putting you on the spot here? No, no, that's okay. Yeah, we're on tour right now. Um, I'm actually calling from, from Canada. We're in Ottawa, and we have a show there later tonight. So we're around the Northeast for a couple weeks here, 
And then over the summer, like June into July, uh, we, we tour around the Midwest a, a fair amount. If, if folks want to check out where the band is going to be specifically, um, they can check out our website, glennmillerorchestra.com, and that's got the extensive tour schedule, and folks can see just how much the band travels. I think that's, that's, a, that's a great resource. We'll quick link it in the show story. You know, part of, part of my own background is, is doing a lot of air show work, and we have Warbird Radio, which is all vintage military aviation stuff that my company runs. This music, though, is truly timeless. I mean, it, it, the rock and roll of its generation and today, the tie-in with Crystal Gale uh, is is just fantastic on this new album. And of course, all of the tracks so there's there's I guess fifteen new ones. Uh, even Speak Low, Begin the Begin, it's all there. And you've you've got to finish out with Chattanooga Choo Choo. I mean, you have to have that on there. So it's there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Did you play on the album? Yeah, that's one. Eric, of... was the, were you on there too? Yes, yeah. So I I still play saxophone in the group in addition to kind of hosting the show, and and I sing as well. So. Uh, yeah, I'm playing, playing saxophone, tenor saxophone in the section, and uh, I sing on a couple of these numbers. Um, of course, Crystal Gale sings on one, and we've got a, a fabulous gal singer named Jenny Swoy. She's featured on a couple of those as well. Oh, that is just that is just wonderful. we got to get you guys in front of a B-17 sometime at a show again. Have you, have you playing out <laughs> you know, there? Yeah, yeah, the band, you know, I mentioned some of these vintage events that we played, and, uh, you know, what's really kind of grown in popularity in the last couple of years is playing these events in hangars, airplane oh, hangars, yeah. and occasionally they'll have some of the old World War II planes in there. We did one in Dallas just a couple of weeks ago, and it's just a perfect fit for this music. That's that's fantastic. Well, I, I have to ask you this before we go. Favorite song that you've discovered over the years of, of Glenn Miller's uh, for you to play that maybe someone hadn't thought of in a while? Yeah, it's a good question because uh, there's so much music, and of course the big hits are fun to play because people know and recognize those. I think uh, my favorite song in, in the Glenn Miller songbook is one called Moonlight Cocktail, which is a vocal oh, yeah. that, that featured his vocal group back in 1942. And it's just a fun one and, and a beautiful song. Yeah, that, that is a great song. And, you know, I, the, the last time, well, I can tell you the last time I heard that was a swing band in North Carolina playing that uh, with, a, with a great okay. vocalist. But, uh, yeah, there, so many songs. I mean, a large, large catalog of music. Of course, you think about the decade that he was really playing through and it's it's remarkable how much music we got from glenn miller before he you know before he passed uh, which was so sad i i do had a question uh, this came in from a, a listener who heard me mention that you were going to be on and they were curious if there are any of the uh you know the original band members still left yeah as, as far as i know um there, there's one gentleman left from the original band his name is um ray anthony a trumpet player, and I believe he lives uh, in California, perhaps out in the Los Angeles area. And I think, I can't remember if he's 100 or 101 or 102 or, or something like that, but um, I, I believe Ray Anthony is still with us. Well, that's fantastic stuff. And, of course, they did tour uh, not only as the Glenn Miller Orchestra, but as you have alluded to here, uh, part of the Army Air Force, the Army Air Corps back in the day, and uh, just a, a tremendous Tremendous body of work there, and I'm so glad to see you're still out on the road and uh, the, the band is still continuing in that tradition of Glenn Miller that he started over 80 years ago. Hard to believe. It, it is amazing that, that people still know this music, and you touched on the significance of this stuff, too, with the Army Air Force and World War II, and, you know, it's, it's really important music as well. It, it sure is. Uh, the music that won the war, for sure. Eric, thanks for coming yeah. on. I really appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me. This is great. Georgia Radio, on your phone, in your home, everywhere you go.